American Lawyer Media and Martin Dale Hubble uh, awarded me a White Collar Criminal Defense Award to recognize my work in the, in the field. The award recognizes someone that, that has experience in, in the area and gets good results for uh, his or her clients. I'm very proud of it and uh, I bring that knowledge to my, to my clients. White collar cases and fraud cases can be quite different and involved. I've had everything from theft cases involving ATM skimming operations, the hacking of banks to obtain purse people's private information and then uh, the misuse uh, of their private information for financial gain. I've had cases where people have embezzled from clients, their employer, and I've done these on uh, I've represented clients uh, of all kinds of different backgrounds and from different types of careers. The most common white collar charge that I see as a criminal defense lawyer working in the federal system are fraud related charges. Wire fraud, mail fraud. The reason why criminal defense lawyers that work in this area see so much of that is because what it essentially is is two or more people uh, agree to commit a, a fraud or a scheme to defraud uh, a, a third party or, a, or another organization and they use the internet or they use the mail to do it. And as you can imagine, that's quite easy to do. If a person suspects that she or he's being investigated for fraud, contact an attorney is not going to increase the person's chance of being arrested for a fraud. The only thing it might do is it might decrease the person's chance of being arrested or being vigorously prosecuted. In criminal defense law, the most important thing is to contact a competent criminal defense lawyer right away. Uh, the, the, the earlier a criminal defense lawyer gets involved in the case, the more time there is, the less bad acts uh, that, have been, uh, that have been taken against the defendant have occurred, and the more uh, opportunities there are for hearings and motions to be filed and negotiations to be begun.